So KuCoin, uh, they found the hackers. Fantastic. So what's going on? So KuCoin found the hackers and the CEO, Johnny Liu, said law enforcement are now involved in pursuing the case. So they must have some pretty uh, concrete leads. Now, this was a, this what if you're unfamiliar, about a week ago, I thought it was 150 million, but they're saying it's 150 to 280 million in digital assets were hacked from the exchange. This was on September 26th. And not a good day if you're KuCoin, but not a bad day if you are, if you had actually some of your assets on there because they state if any user fund is affected by this incident, it will be covered completely by KuCoin and our insurance fund. I'm sure the insurance fund is really ecstatic about paying out on that. But this was the big story because I don't think it was just about the hack and the finding. But the big story to me was what it states here. Many projects behind the hack tokens prevented the thieves from liquidating their assets where possible. Let me read that again. Many projects behind the hack tokens prevented them from liquidating. Projects like Tether, Ampleforth, Ocean Protocol, and others. I don't know what the end others is, but Ocean, Ampleforth, and Tether, they are not decentralized. Because if you are decentralized, you cannot do that. And what happened with the other ones that were, like Synthetics and Ethereum, they were blocked or blocked because this is because these tokens are sufficiently decentralized to prevent backlisting. And that's the beauty of decentralization. Good or bad. That's what happens. So when you are decentralized, you can't just stop these things. And what is good about that is that, hey, no government agency can go into Ethereum and go shut this down. Shut what down? We got nodes all over the world. So go talk to those guys. And uh, good luck with that. So I think it was just an interesting article about decentralization versus centralization and what really is. And we should kind of open our eyes and see, you know, uh, all these different projects, what actually is to come. And then lastly, it's they lose the CEO so the KuCoin is slowing reopening, slowly reopening. My question to you is, if you had money on KuCoin, would you leave it on there? Would you be like, yeah, they probably got to figure it out or would you take it off? Me personally, I got to take it off. I, I'm not a big fan of uh, hacks, so uh, I got to take it to someplace where it's a little bit safer. That's just me. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Last story.